So uh, I'm going to do my usual uh, five minute talk. Bad news, it's not angry this month because for the first time ever, Nate's Semi Precious Gems features a gem that works. Uh, I know, don't, don't everyone yell at once. So, huh? Is it Soap for R? Yeah, we're going to talk about Soap for R. Uh, how do you work this thing? So, where should I start? The gem I'm, I'm going to talk about is called Whenever. I think you're on that third tab. Here? Yeah. Cool. Uh, the gem I'm going to talk about is called Whenever. It is a, uh, like, Ruby to Kron bridge. Uh, who here hates Kron? Who here is, was afraid to raise their hand because when they get home, <laughs> Kron will hit them? <laughs> So, cron, uh, no cron tab, of course. Cr cron tabs look terrible. Um, they're just no fun to work with, and so we shouldn't work with them anymore, ever again. Uh, whenever is a little gem that lets you uh, create a file like this. It's just config schedule RB, and you can do nice Ruby things. Is this big enough for everyone? Okay. Um, you do nice Ruby things. So every one minute, I'm going to, I'm using my Daibatsu simulator, which I'll talk about again. But for now, just trust me, these are tasks. Um, runner is going to, this is a model in my Rails project. It's just going to call this method on the model and pass it some arguments. Um, you can run rake tasks that work exactly like you would expect. Um, if you want to get really crazy, you can define a new job type. In this case, I have one called awesome, which is going to run the awesome program and have some default arguments. And I can stick Ruby symbols in there as labels. So down here, where I'm calling awesome, I can say, okay, just you know, take that, take bear and stick that in who is driving. Stick the log file in there for me. <laughs> you know, don't don't make me concatenate that string every time because I, I hate concatenating strings and I don't want to do it. Um, you can also with the command method just call a command. If you have an existing shell script that's complicated and you don't want to redo it, uh, that's fine. Call it. Whenever it doesn't care. It's not very smart. Whoa, right? whoa, whoa. Bear is driving. Yeah. How can this be? I, yes. Thank you. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to run whenever, and it's going to spit out the new cron tab. Uh, as you can see, it looks kind of bad, but uh, it does work. Um, you know, the star, 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 star is because I told it to do things every minute. Um, down here, I had something scheduled for, I think it was like every Sunday at midnight, something like that. Um, and it spits out the commands faithfully. Trust me, those all work. Or they will in a minute. I hope I'm not doing live coding again because you all know how much I love doing that. <laughs> so, um, let's look at the app. Uh, here's my rake file for... Uh, See if I can get that. Oh. So here's the rake file for those tasks. Uh, I have two tasks in here. One just runs that simulation.simulate method that we talked about. The other one creates a random punishment in Daibatsu uh, with a combination of two arrays. You can see it's super sophisticated here. And there are some unfortunate combinations that hopefully we don't hit on because I am here representing my company and we don't want to get sued. Um, So, there's the simulation class, you all remember, um, if you were here last month. If not, it's pretty simple. Um, last month we talked about having the Dibatsu app building what I called the Dibatsu Integrated Punishment Simulator, or IPS, because there's no greater punishment than sending your kids to IPS. And uh, 
it had a, I was implementing background tasks. So you could take a long running job, like a complicated simulation, run it in the background and get the results later. Maybe we can't do that for whatever reason. We need to do those things as a cron job, as a batch job overnight. So I've ripped out all of the delayed job stuff. It's still there on GitHub in a branch if you want to really want to go see it. But now I've got this set up so that I'm going to run this in a batch job. I've got self.simulate, which loads all the punishments and runs one simulation for each punishment and saves it just like we were last week. Uh, let's look at a web page. So here it is running. Nope, never mind. It's a, it's a false alarm. <coughs> Cool. So here it is running. Um, I put a couple of punishments just, you know, straight off the dome in there, so to speak. Um, there are no simulation results. Um, I can, okay, simulate, woo. Okay, I guess I cut out some stuff. So that's not gonna work. And this is supposed to be a quick talk, so I'm not gonna try to fix it. Um, Hopefully the uh, cron tasks work, or this is going to be really boring. So, angry presentation. <laughs> yeah, this is going to turn real quick into one of my famous angry presentations. Uh, another nice thing, just so I don't forget later. Where did it go? Uh oh. Apparently, I forgot to commit the cap file. That's okay. Um, come on, Internet. So there's integration with Capistrano. Obviously, you're not running your cron tasks on your development machine. I mean, hopefully you're not running your cron tasks on your development machine. Uh, whenever assumes that everything's running in production by default all the time. It's definitely set up for production and you have to do stuff to make it run in development, which is kind of the opposite of what we're used to in Rails, but that's how it's set up. So that being the case, um, Capistrano integration is pretty, I mean, there, there it is. Um, they have, what is the example cap file? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, they have an example cap file, which is just way over complicated. They define all these constants and then they use them once. But basically, um, you define a task, update cron tab, and you just have to pass it uh, whenever command, which is whenever, and whenever update flag, which is usually just like W, or <laughs> update cron tab if you want to be fancy. Those are the same thing. Uh, there's also a clear cron tab if you need to get rid of it. This way, when you deploy new code, It'll go in, automatically update the cron tab from your schedule file. You don't have to mess with it and worry about, is this really working? You don't have a five-stage deployment like every project seems to accumulate if you're not real careful. So, after all that talking, uh, let's go back over here and run that. Now you can see, there's the cron tab. It looks a lot like you know, what I showed you a minute ago. Um, so running just whenever gives you like a dry run. What's this gonna look like? Uh, w, or like I said, update cron tab, writes it to the cron tab. There's all kinds of options which are really granular and the only ones you're gonna use are pretty much right, clear, and look at. Um, there it is. So in theory, we should see, oh yeah, because I shut down the server. That'll happen. So in theory, we should see some results show up. We'll just have to wait. <laughs> I'm no longer convinced that's actually going to happen. Is that it? I don't know. I mean, it runs every minute on the minute. So we'll just wait. All right, I'm tired of waiting. Um, 
You have a dead letter? Yeah, okay, I have a dead letter. <laughs> Brat. <laughs> it all works on my computer. Let me run out to my car real quick. Um, so, here's what it is going to run. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe this will tell me. Um, yeah, so some things get run. Um, that is those two things are what was set to run every minute along with another thing. Um, the from variable is just passing a note to say where the simulation came from and I shut down the server again. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see, um, there are some results that showed up from the rake runner, as well as a new punishment to help your grandmother, because why doesn't anybody ever help grandmother? Um, yeah, and in theory, those are running every minute. Like, I'm not gonna mess with it unless someone really wants to see live debugging on Matt's computer. Um, so yeah, there's whenever. Well, well, if you look at the CPU graph at the, in the, in the menu at the top you can see that it's running yeah something. it's yeah there's there those little spikes are rails uh just saying hi <laughs> that that's it it's that simple any questions why don't your demos over with? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my demos always work a little bit Fair enough. i don't know you want to go uh work through the mail no no uh, here. My guess is, oh, no such table. Well, that's easy to fix. It's a good thing you heckled me, Joel. <laughs> Wait, is it running in production? Uh, yes. Is this going to work? Yeah, I made production in SQLite as well, so. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> well, then, you're, I don't, then you have to restart your script server just in production. Do what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're used to that one at this point. <laughs> just be sure to pass it the, the production. The, the real problem is this whole demo is just showing whenever is a thin wrapper around Active Record, and I don't use Active Record at all. So. The uh, the whenever portion of this is not what's failing. It's the the part I'm I'm not good at. Okay, what do I need to do now? You have to pass it Rails in production, so it looks at the database you just created. Oh. Kill the server. Script server production. Yeah. Really? No, just for them. E? For environment. Yep. And then space production. You can just do script server production. Oh, yeah. oh slow down. <laughs> one, one new thing at a time. Hey, there we go. Clean my car, and we've got one simulation. That's the first one I got. Just clean my car rate. Right? The version I got when I was testing it was clean grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's not well, good. Not, you know, not as bad as I clean feel, my sister. I feel like this is, this is good yeah. for... Uh, you know. Yeah. So, anyone other than Joel have any questions? <laughs> uh, I have a little tip. Uh, we actually use it. you mind if I plug in here? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, we got more results. So, created a new one, and then it ran simulations against all of them, including the new one. But yeah, you can have it. So one of the things I was dealing with is we run our app across multiple servers and we have different cron tabs per server. So this really helped me out. This is my uh, whenever here. So I just defined a little method called server name, which calls uname-n. 
So, let's see. So at least on my machine here, what you name? Dash in iFruit.local. That's just the name of the machine. So uh, that way I could separate things out here for server name dot match mystique. Then it runs all these. Or if it runs if it matches either of these, these are tasks that run on both those servers. And here's ones that only run on that one server. So that's pretty handy to have in your just one deploy thing instead of having to every time I change something in cron not only do I change it uh, and change it to a, like a cron.txt file before and then I'd have to make a task to at deploy time go and update the crons so this is a lot nicer it is completely automated now but yeah you got your every five minutes that's real nice every one day and you can pass an array of times uh, and basically yeah I'm very granular a lot of, a lot of reports nothing special and then we've got these custom uh, runners here that I've got so run and mail CDs into your directory runs your path to Ruby script runner e environment the task and then it also pipes it out to mail and sends it out and nice. then uh, we've got these other tasks that you know uh, so timer act on expired now there's a log timer dot act on expired dot log and uh, a little bit fancy stuff and I don't even know if this will run on here but let's give it a shot let's just see what this fits out I'm sure it's horrible whenever no no I need it at the gym Oh, I sure don't. Dang it. So, da, 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 da. yeah. There you go. Nice ugly thing. And this is one of those. It's like every 15 minutes on the zeroth day of the, or, or at the beginning of the day. I don't remember. But yeah, each one of these is like an increment. I think that's one minute, hours, oh, hours, minutes, minutes, hours, days of the week. It's really terrible <laughs> to try and remember this. Um, so yeah, much nicer. Sorry for the little hijack, but I figured that no, was worth absolutely. sharing. That's that's the whole point of this thing. <laughs>